boy TJ, welcome back to the channel. I hope all is well with you guys. If you are new around here, make sure to like, subscribe, and all that good stuff to keep up to date with the Forex content posted on this channel. Daily uploads for 2022. When the summer comes, you know the boys' consistency is going to drop dramatically. So make sure to stay tuned throughout this you know, for the next few months. But we're gonna be doing a gold strategy. This strategy I've been using, you know, for the last few years now, and it works as a treat, honestly. Like, the entries you can get are sniper entries, but the scalping strategy you can get on this are absolutely insane. So make sure to carry on watching. Check out the free trade, check out the VIP as well. Link in description. We've got a Discord with over 2,300 people in as well. Massive trading community going on on there. So make sure to check all the links in description as well. But without further ado, Let's get into the video! A few moments later. Yo, what's poppin'? Let's get into this scalping strategy because it's absolutely insane. Obviously, I've got gold mapped out right here for everyone else to see. Um, big, big moves are going to happen today as well, which is around here. But I'm going to show you on why gold's so easy to read. Now, when we're looking at January 2021, we touched up here at the 1950 level right about here. We sold all the way back down from the support at 7064 when it made new highs all the way to 1678. 1678 key key level of support. So you draw a line like this. Now you've got this line drawn out. You're gonna think, okay, right, so it sold all the way here. Now we need to see momentum. This is where you guys need to understand goals either gonna pull back to this body here at 1950 or this lower high here because it's the lower high from the wick out. So you're using this wick out as a collection of orders. And if you see on the charts, that is exactly what happened. We come to around the 1900 level and then we sold off. Obviously wicked out at 1915, which is respectable. It's always gonna wick out. So it's head, shoulder, head pattern, sell off. Now this is the daily, obviously a bit more easier to read on the daily. But if I, if I zoom out and we go to the 1H, 1678 touch. Now this is where I wanna show you, okay? This is where I wanna show you where you can get your entries in, because it's so simple. On the one hour as well. So let's say, let's say if we're selling gold, right? Let's, ju let's just go through the charts. You're selling gold here, pull back, we're on a descending channel, one, two, three touch, couldn't break. If you see here on the one hour, we sold off, Pull back, sold off again, respected, went back up to retest, retesting this zone here. One, two, touch here, last touch to make it free. Where is it touching? It's basically touching the lower high of the wick out, which is here. 904. Always remember the lower highs of the wick out. <clears throat> and obviously the reversal for, for the buys. Now we see this here, sell off. Pulling, pulling back, pulling back, huge set off at 8.64. This is where you can scalp your entries in, right? Previous wick. We're going to respect here. This is going to be a part where we respect. This is a zone where we respect. 18.69. We're going to respect here, which we did. Bang, respected. We're getting sales again. Because you know when you're selling here and it breaks below, you know gold's going to come up to retest the lower high because it's going to continue on the bearish because when gold sells, it sells with high momentum and it needs to retest all the way back down to the, the lower high where it formed in order to go long. Which is why, you know, down the line, it whipped out below here because it took out all the previous old buyers, right? That's what you need to understand with gold. It's going to always wick out the previous old buyers or sellers in the market. So you always need to be aware of this. When you see this trade, we engulf down and then we come up to retest, retest in the lower high. Big momentum, okay? There's not really much you can get in there. Obviously, you can start selling there, but there's entries to sell, obviously, you know. Spike down, retest in lower highs from the highs, entry, bang, you go in there again, sell. <clears throat> but I want to make sure that this makes sense to all of you guys. So, obviously, we're going to keep going because there are some trades that will make sense to you. And it's basically how gold moves, you know. There's no coming back from this. So if we see here, we're in a zone. We wicked out, so we're going to go up and make new highs. We've got to go up to make new highs. So we see here, it forms new highs at 1830. This was the high. From the lower high from 1750 to 1830. That was the top of the range form. Broke out of this little thing here, 1824, this high. 
but that doesn't matter because this is the new range, 1834. That is the top of the range. This is the bottom of the range. Now, when you see here, okay, gold sold. We wicked out previous lower high buyers. If you wanted to buy here, which you can, you buy it at the wick out. Good, great entry. What happens? You buy here. We go up to retest. We pull back. Where are we putting back to? The highs of the body from the lower highs. Easy. Re-entry. Buy again. You're scalping now. We're going up. We're going to start making a shit ton of money. Let's go, baby. Now what do we see? We see it go to 1834, top of the zone. We can see it because we're staggering. We're staggering. All these are staggering up. That's all we're doing. Gold is not breaking below. It's not making new lows. It's just staggering, as you can see. Look, it's just gold buy a stagger, okay? No momentum. Make a new high, sell off. Stagger, stagger, stag, stagger. Make another high. Retesting the previous lower high of the zone that is forming, which are these lower highs here. You're using the previous highs around here. Respecting, respecting, respecting. Touch one more time before it sells off past the previous buy. So you're closing now. One, two, three, triple top. About to make new highs. Bang! You get an entry again. You sell it. And then you sell. Because you know that gold is going to either sell all the way down to 17.59 or it's going to go down to the main support at 16.78. Which it did. Main support 16.78. The reason why, we go back on the days on this chart and we can easily see highs made failed to break up here yearly direction broke out of this thing here but this is just a retest retesting the wick out of the lower high selling all the way to main support to collect more orders 1678 now from 1678 this is pretty straightforward but let's uh let's keep going because this should be helping you guys as well read and learn gold but 1678 here, touch. We go again. We're retesting 1834. But with these buys here quickly, 1678, you're buying in. Beautiful buys. Goes up, comes back down. Can't make new lows at 1678. So it goes to six, uh, 1684. Then we go up from here. And as you can see, you know, there's a bit of respect and a bit of respect and a bit hard to get your orders, orders in. However, looking at this chart, Wick out here, highs there. So what you do is you go to the next wick. Where is the next wick body? There. So what did we do? We respected that body right here. Respected the body into buys. It wasn't gonna come down again because already respected, already respected. So you're saying it's not making new lows, not making new lows, new lows. So we spike up, make highs, coming back down to retest the bodies. Bang, retest. Buys. We're getting buys in again. What is it? Retest this lower high right here. Retest the bullish breakout. Bang. Buys again. 18, 17, 42, sorry. And that's basically what you do. You know, you see it staggering. Obviously, here, I'd be careful because you would, you would see on the 1H, you'd be like, okay, it's going to at least come up to here, 800 level, and reject. It went to 1810 and rejected. From the highest. Previous lows, rejection, can't break below because it's still bullish to 1834, making new highs, seeing if it can break out. Failed to break out multiple times, but as you can see, you know, buy here, goes up, makes highs at 1823, all the way from 784, 400 pips, pulls back, where to pull back to, the lower high formed, acting as a support, buys again, holding, can't break below, buys again, 1835 touch, one, two, three, four times. So you're thinking, holy shit, we've touched four times now. Can't break. Respects here at 1827. We zoom in. 1827, right by the wick of the top here. As you can see, this wick right here. Bang. Literally identical level. It's not breaking. We found some we found resistance. And uh yeah. It bearish it goes all the way down. Crazy fucking trade. All the way from 1834. All the way down to 1720 and I thought it was going to go to 1715 but 1721 it found and just before I talk about that obviously we talked about this lower high here bad rejection come up come up come up come up one more time retesting here for the next sell off that it did so it's retesting this high here so it's making a new zone so this is old zone 
new zone, new zone, can't break, fan into break here, bigger sells past the lower high. As you can see here, we're making new lows, new lows, 17, 14, previous lower, uh, previous support on this lower high right here, from where it spiked up, broke out, come back to retest and spiked out again. So we're using this as a sort of indication where we're gonna touch here to spike out to arrive at where this lower high come from, where if you look where it come from, it come from here. This lower high went all the way up here to eight, 1782. So you're looking at 1782, it's gonna to be touched. What happened? 1782 touch, wick out, put bigger pullback, which was uh, you know unexpected but can happen in gold. Then we sold off again from 1782 all the way to 1720. And then obviously with the buyers, you're thinking, okay, it's gonna to come to at least 1717 or something like this. It's gonna retest the previous lower high. Bail to actually retested just before the lower high here this low high right here and this is why you got to look at market direction it's not about just this channel it's about the whole market direction in general obviously i know this is a bit long-winded as well a lot of explaining and i can make more videos so if you want them let me know in the comments down below but yeah same again with 1722 we touch here one time touch again we're going for buys it's got a pullback at some stage obviously with this one it didn't really pull back too much the max it pulled back to was you know this Massive pullback here to this lower high, so it kind of touched this resistance here, which is kind of the same sort of you know method as such as how gold moves. Touch right there, you're getting in buys again because you know that you're gonna have at least go up because you touched the main support at 1678. So you're gonna start being bullish now. Gold's bullish, it's gonna change the market direction as it did all the way from 1720. Previous highs made from that bullish and gold thing. If you look before it broke out. It touched 1758, previous high, all the way to 1878. Crazy fucking trade. Again, nearly a thousand pips on the buys. And it's literally so straightforward. Now I'm going over this. This is all freestyled as well, you know. I'm just talking how it moved, and it's and it always moves exactly the same. Always moves exactly the same. So this is obviously must be helping you guys understand. Like holy shit, he's doing that on the top of his head. It's crazy crazy stuff and you know we're talking about big pit moves and this is on the 1h 1878 forms we broke out main new highs great stuff let's go on the daily so it makes more sense main new highs up here when you look on a daily 1877 is round about where the lower high is from this previous high obviously didn't quite come straight to it you know you'd be expecting some sort of rejection from this zones here however to make it a bit more sense, when you're looking at this graph right here, fail to break, fail to break, fail to break, all of these. So this is called the wick out effect. So wicked up, wicked out, and then you see it never come back, never come back, so you'll be getting sales in, okay? So sometimes you have to change the way you trade, but it still makes sense why it would reject around this level right here. It makes complete sense why it would reject around here. Okay, anything like around here, it would reject. But you're using your knowledge in the market on the 1H, or on the daily, should we say, sorry, but the 1H probably makes it look a bit more, you know, easier to read, let's say. Look on the 1H. Fouled to break, fouled to break, fouled to break, break up, pull back, couldn't break anymore, retesting the highs, right here, sold off. And it did that all the way to fucking 1760, you know? Didn't touch 1750, Oh no, sorry, it did touch 1750. So this is what I was waiting for. I was waiting for 1750 to be touched, right? Into buys. Because I knew that because we touched 1678, we're going to do a bigger pullback past the 1760 lower high of support because it's going to wick out. See, we're going to touch the portal, wick out. But 1750 is the key level for gold. So I believed it was going to wick out of there and go long from 1750. So my buy limit was 1750. As you can see, we wicked out the lower high of 1760. Went to 17.52 and then went buys away from 17.52 to 1832, which is 800 pips. Now, that's crazy in itself, but you know we missed that trade by a few pips. However, you got to be mindful that sometimes it might wick out of the lower high if it does a breakout, which is why people are saying 878 there, wicked out. We're gonna go again to 850, which is the low, which is the lower high of this week right here, which is up here. And then we're gonna sell off again. That's why gold's bullish to 1850, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. As you see here, touched, 
touch multiple multiple times so let me zoom in before it goes long breaks up comes back goes on again and as you can see you know we, we touch 1815 same again we're retesting the lower highs where it formed here bullish engulfed up we're going to keep retesting lower high lower high retesting the highs of the lower high bang goes up again breaks out drops again retests its lower highs buy again now it's going to sell off again because we broke out one time so we broke out retest here sells all the way back to the previous lower highs formed one two back again lower highs formed we touched again support <clears throat> now this is why i think 1793 or 1805 before a bigger pullback because we touched here one two triple bottom on the lower highs to 1815 as you can see here we touched it failed to break 1813 but we're going to see a smaller pullback possibly possibly we'll go to 1825 then sell or sells here to 8 to 1793 which is 1793 is all the way down here it's quite a big pullback but i'm just going based off the lower highs that were formed here i'm going off this lower high here at 1800 in order to do a bigger pullback you know we, we pushed up here pull back here then broke out didn't break out but we went to 28 sorry now if you see this lower high right here from the wick all the way up it's 1795 to 1793 therefore i believe gold could go to this point right here before buying again but if you look on the one h lower high high formed here where did it respect respected there so if it's staggering, then we could see buyers go all the way back up, past 1830. However, 1800 is a level where it's got respect again, or 1793 for a bigger pullback. But obviously, you know, looking at this chart, very, very predictable to read. You know, we pushed out, pulled back. So it'd be interesting to see what happens there. From this highs, buyers again, you know, we're looking at the sales, one, two, three, failed to break above this high, sold off, Retesting here, failing to break out of this channel here, and it's a bit of a wick out again. You know, you got this chart right here. Wick out here, we actually call these sells too. Bang, selling off, sold off all the way to the previous lower high. But yeah, I reckon it's gonna sell off more, all the way down to 800, so 793, and then buys all the way to 1850, which is gonna be insane. So fingers crossed it comes in. But yeah, we just need to see what happens here. Obviously, look, look at the daily. The daily is 1800 that would be the bigger sales that would take place or even 1793 which is around here so uh yeah it's been your boy tj hope it wasn't too long-winded if you have watched to the end then i appreciate you guys you guys are real ogs you guys want to actually learn the charts because i know it can be long-winded at times but you know if i don't give it my all explaining these charts and you don't give it your all by understanding and learning then we're all going to have difficulties. So I appreciate the support you guys show on my channel. Much love. Until next time, I'll catch you in a bit. Peace.